chapter 9, Mishnah 6. The mission discusses another case of liquids that were absorbed in pulp and then came out. In, in this case, there was olive pulp or grape skins from which oil or wine had been made in a state of tahara. That is, the people who pressed the oil or wine, as well as the utensils that they used for this, were tahor. So, all the oil and wine was tahor. After the oil and wine were drawn off, the pulp and skins reabsorbed what was left of the tahor oil and wine. Then, people who were tame walked on them, and liquids then came out of them, squeezed out of the pulp and skins by being stepped on by the Tame people. The law is that these liquids remain Tahor, because to begin with, they were made in a state of Tahara. That is, since these liquids were Tahor, when they were reabsorbed into the pulp, they remained Tahor, even when squeezed out by the Tame person who stepped on the pulp. If, however, the liquids would not have been made in Tahara, and would have become Tame before they were reabsorbed into the pulp, then they would remain tame even though they were reabsorbed. The Mishnah now discusses the law for solid things that were absorbed. In this case, a wooden spindle swallowed the metal hook that was in its tip, or an ox goad made of wood swallowed the metal nail that was in its tip, or a brick swallowed a metal ring that got mixed into the clay from which the brick was made, and they, the metal hook, nail, or ring, were tahor at the time they were swallowed. These metal utensils are now absorbed in the wood or the brick. The law is that if they then enter the tent of a corpse, they become tame, even though they are absorbed in something that is not tame. And similarly, if a zav moved them, they become tame, even though they are absorbed in something that is not tame. And if, after becoming tame from the corpse or the zav, they fell into an oven that was tahor, they make it tame, even though they are absorbed in something that is not tame because they are within the oven's airspace. If, however, a loaf of teruma bread touched them, that is, it touched the wood or brick in which the tame metal was absorbed, the loaf remains tahor, since it did not touch the tame utensil, but only the tahor wood or brick that was covering it. Therefore, even if the loaf is teruma, which is more stringent than ornate foods, it remains tahor.